Alright guys, Cheese Monkey back again with another video. If you guys did not know, you can dye your armor in this game. Uh, the way you do that is you go to Hatino Village, as I'm showing you here. And as you zoom in and get the icons for what's in the town, you can see there is a dye shop. That's where you want to go. So you're just going to go there. This is the guy you're going to see. You're going to talk to him. He'll tell you he can dye your clothes. It's going to cost you 20 rupees. And you can also take something you've dyed back to the original color if you want to. So don't worry about that. You're not stuck. You can re dye over and over. So you tell me you want to dye. I'll put you up here. Ask you to either choose your dye color or change your clothes. So this isn't the outfit I want to dye. So I'm going to change my clothes. Put on the outfit I want to use. We'll go with the Cap of the Wild set here. This is the set you get for completing all 120 runes. So once you have your clothes selected, you then get to pick your color. You can see we got all kinds of colors here. Black, orange, red, yellow, green, purple, pink. Pretty much any color you're looking for. i show you the different colors here. It gives you a preview of what it looks like. I think with this one we were going to go with the white. So we'll select the white. After you pick your color, it tells you you have to pick five ingredients that, of that color. It can be any five. Um, the ones you can't use are grayed out because those aren't the right color. So anything that can be used will be selectable. We'll just use five lionel horns here, but you could use five of a combination of whatever you like to make that color. Typically, you want to use something that you can get often and isn't of much value. Once you do that, he takes your money, you get this little cutscene, you're standing above the vat, and all of a sudden, he opens the door, you fall in, you come out, poof, brand new set of clothes, got our all white set there. Um, you can do mix match sets, you don't have to do a full set of the same type of armor you could put on whatever pieces you like and dye them. Some things you cannot dye. I believe the champion's tunic cannot be dyed. I'm not sure if there's any other armor pieces out there that can't be dyed. I haven't really tried. But I do know that the champion's tunic cannot be dyed. But you could dye a hat and feet to match the champion's tunic should you like. Here we go with this. Talking to him again. I think we're going to do a different outfit. So we'll change our clothes. We're going to go with the sneak set, I believe, on this one. As you see, my sneak set has already been dyed once. I dyed it pink. We're going to change it to a more stealthy look. Probably going with the black here, so we'll pick our color. We'll go with the black. You can spin your character around, take a look how it's going to look. Once you're satisfied, select your color. Again, you've got to take five ingredients that can uh, be that color. Easiest one for black is usually the flint because you should have plenty of that if you do any kind of mining. So we'll get five flint, hit OK. Takes our money. We we'll go back up on the stand. Once again, shoot opens. You can skip this cutscene cut if you want. Option pops up on the screen there to skip. In we go. Poof. Out we come. Shiny new black stealth suit. That's it for this video guys. It's kind of basic but some of you may not have known about the dye shop yet or where it was if you haven't got to that point in the game yet where you visited Hatino Village. But that's where it is. That's how you do it. Remember you can go back and change it back to the original color should you choose to do so. This is Tease Monkey signing off. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.